Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to do a little update on my pool pump setup that I have. So on my previous video, I had a Sonoff Basic Wi-Fi switch. I was turning on and off my single speed pump. But that pump, it got old, it broke, it was due for replacement. So I ended up getting this variable speed unit, which is really nice, it's super quiet. Um, and with variable speed, there's cost savings because you're running a lower RPM. Um, I'm seeing about, looks like $30 a month electricity savings that's nice but one of the things you usually lose with that is you can't just cut the power to these they don't like having the power cut because there's an actual uh, inverter motor controller in here and even then when you turn it on it goes through a whole boot up cycle it has to run for five minutes at a high rpm to like prime the system and it's just you're not supposed to do it so what i figured out i could do is tap into these buttons. These are like the speed buttons, eco, clean, boost, stop, and you can program the RPM that you want. Um, so what I did is I used Cat5 Ethernet wire and soldered basically to the PCB where these buttons are. Ran that up to my control box here. And I'm using a four channel relay. Um, I found this board on Amazon. It was about 17 bucks. And again, it has four relays. Uh, the du they're dual pole, so I'm using the normally open side, and then uh, it pulses or it, it does a switch closure for about half a second. And again, this is running on Tasmoda firmware, just like my previous setup. Here's the interface. So you know, I've got the buttons labeled stop, eco, clean, boost. You know, you press the button. And there it goes, it's in clean mode. Eco. Let's hit stop. So you can hear that relay closure like simulating a button press. And this is really cool because with these variable speeds, pretty much everything is controlled through this interface. You set the clock, you set a schedule, and then it's really annoying to change later. But by doing this, I can use Home Assistant or even just the configuration timer in here, you know, to make my own schedule and I can change it anywhere. I could be, you know, out of the house if I just want to turn off the pool pump for some reason or change the schedule. So it's working pretty well. I'm liking it a lot. Variable speed pump I think is definitely the way to go if you need to uh, replace your single speed pump. So just want to post this. I haven't seen anyone really, you know, hack a uh, variable speed pump and control it like this. So. Check it out guys, I'll put some links in the description on this relay board I used uh, and some of the firmware settings for uh, Tasmoda. Alright, enjoy.